We're getting into that time of the year where we have family gatherings, office parties, even sports events, and charcuterie boards are bigger than ever. And they're not as hard as you think. That end product can be very intimidating, but we wanna show you how simple and how much fun they are to make. Okay, let's get started. Obviously, you want the star of the show to be front and center, so let's put those on first. Charcuterie boards and cheese boards can be two different things, but they can also be interchangeable. So we want the cheese and our meats to be the stars. And you've got a pretty good sized board, so we're gonna spread them out because you've got lots of goodies you're gonna put on last. Okay, cheddar and brie are usually a staple on a cheese board, but we have over a hundred cheeses, so the variety is outstanding. You can have any kind of cheese you want. I like to have a smoked cheese on there. Now keep in mind, if you haven't been explained this before, when you've come in to see me, if you are worried about lactose, we have a wide variety of lactose-free cheeses. And if you're worried about vegetarians, we also have cheeses that are suitable for vegetarian diets. The best thing about these cheeses is they are 100% all natural cheeses. Okay, the next is gonna be your meat. This is just a basic hard salami, but if you wanna do an Italian style, we have a very wide selection of Italian meats. We put those in a couple different places. Keep some extra because you're gonna to top that off once you add all of your other little goodies. Okay, next is gonna be your crackers. Brie toasts are perfect for the brie. And just set those in there. There's no rhyme or reason to anything. We have a great selection of just basic crackers. You want them to be small enough because you don't want people to have to break them up. You can also add breadsticks, which are not only adorable, but they're great for dipping into the brie. And if you want to have jellies or jams in a little container, they're good for that as well. Okay. Another star, we've got olives. Everybody loves olives. We've got a whole variety of olives. We also have olive bruschetta, which you can use for the toast as well if you choose to do that. Okay, so here are your main items. Let's garnish. We have nuts that you can just sprinkle in little places. Nothing major. Any kind of nuts you want. These are just the mixed nuts that we have here at Detweiler's Farm Market. Okay. Fresh fruit. I chose raspberries and blueberries as I'm sure you're aware from our amazing produce department. We've got many different things to choose from. And boards in general are just so popular right now. You can do a breakfast board. You can do a bagel board. There's so many different things that you can do and we have absolutely everything that you will need for any board you choose. So all you're doing now is you're just kind of placing stuff around to fill those holes. Dried fruits. Dates are really good. Figs are really good with brie, especially blue cheese if you wanted to put a blue piece of blue cheese on your board. Let's add a few more dried fruits. These are dried apricots, great for this season. But we have dried cherries, cranberries, you name it, we've got it on our bulk section. Now we're going to add some fresh grapes. Don't be afraid if you cover up some things here and there. Remember I mentioned to keep some of that extra because at the very end, you're going to add more to it. Fluff it up, so to speak. This is your board. You can do it any way you want to. Okay. Now, chocolate. That salty sweet is perfect for your board. 
We also, in our bulk section, have a wide variety of different chocolates. I chose these because they're festive for holidays. And don't be upset if you can't fit everything that you've purchased on the board because you're going to continue to fill this as your guests work through it. Trust me, it won't go to waste. Okay, now we're going to garnish. We've got some rosemary. Whatever herbs you like to use for fragrant purposes, we've got some thyme. So there it is. It's that simple. And you can make it yours or custom, anything you want. And we have everything that you need. So my name is Christina at Weathers Farm Market in Palmetto. Stop by and let me help you have so much fun making these to entertain your guests.